What's up, Royals? Rodney Dallas here, and we are in the Campus Bookstore. Now, we know many of you have had questions about what do you need to do with your books once you're done. And since you're, some of you are not here, we want to get those answers to you. So we have Casey Sulia, our bookstore manager, to answer some of those questions. Casey, how are you doing? Oh, I'm blessed every day, Rodney. Good morning to you. And uh, what questions do you got? All right, so our first question is, all of my classes have been moved online. What should I do with my books once I am done with my class and using them? Okay, so prior to your books being due, you're gonna get three emails. You're okay. gonna get one 14 days before the due date, one email three days before the due date, and one email one day before the due date. Now, in those emails, there's gonna be a link for you to click for a free FedEx shipping label. Um, as long as you check your Warner email daily, especially towards the end of the semester, you will be A-OK. -okay. Awesome. So students, remember, it is always important to be checking your warner.edu email. A lot of important information will be coming that way. Our next question is, when are books due? You know, that's an excellent question, Rodney. So, online students know that our original due date was May 1st, Friday, May 1st. Um, you know, there's a lot going on with the current events, and so we're willing to make accommodations and accept books until Friday, May 8th, but I, I would please like you to understand that some of these books are going to be used for the summer terms, and I can't distribute them to summer term students until I get them back from you, so to speak. So as close to um, Friday, May 1st as you can, and um, you know, I think it also will will you know take some weight off your shoulders to get them in so the sooner you get that ball rolling if it were me I would just get them in the day after my last final it's a really good rule of thumb you take your last final you go to sleep the next day if you can get them in uh, to a FedEx location and uh, that will be that awesome once students get to the FedEx location and they drop their books off um, are they finished after that That is a great question. And so something that I haven't put enough emphasis on in the past is I really encourage and ask students to take some responsibility in making sure that they have a receipt for their return. Um, the first thing is before you drop your package off at FedEx, you need to look at it and there's gonna be a tracking number. Please record that tracking number. Yes. I cannot look up your tracking number at any point. So if you ship it without noticing your tracking number, I can't retrieve it for you. So once you, you know, you've written down your tracking number, you go to FedEx, and then you drop off your package, and it goes, check the status of your delivery every day. So, you know, if you check it and all of a sudden it's in Albuquerque, New Mexico, well then we know we've got a problem. Eventually, when you're checking it every day, in a day or two, it's going to be delivered to the campus. Yeah. Once it's delivered, I will check it in. And so, once you see it's delivered, please allow 48 hours for your receipt to be emailed to you. If you see that your package has been delivered, 48 hours have passed, and you don't have a receipt for all of your books, then immediately contact me. Um, here's my contact information. So to kind of wrap that up, write down your tracking number, you ship your book, check the, the shipping status, allow 48 hours after delivery for the email to generate. If the book has, if your books have been delivered and 48 hours have passed, please contact me immediately. Okay, awesome. And this last question is geared more towards our international students. If I'm in another country, do I follow the same process as uh, in returning my books? So our shipping labels won't work outside of the U.S. Um, so some international students have came and talked to me before they left. I don't believe that all of them have. But um, if you are in another country, please just shoot me an email so we can make sure we're on the same page. And um, by doing so, we will avoid any problems. Awesome. And last but not least, Casey, just to give them a little bit of lightheartedness and something to not think about. We know that you are a diehard Patriots fan. 
and your homeboy Tom Brady is possibly coming to Tampa Bay to play for the Bucks. How do you feel about that? So, you know, I think um, one of the things I admire most about Tom is that uh, he always puts his team in the best position to win the Super Bowl every year. So I think that that's what the good folks of Polk County and uh, Tampa can expect. Well, we'll look forward to that. And we want to remind you guys that if you do not see these videos on Moodle, subscribe to our YouTube page, which is Warner Student Life. And we can ha we'll have all of these videos there for you with helpful information about books, registration, and other things. We love you guys. We hope you're doing well. Make sure you sanitize, okay? And we will talk to you soon. Peace out. Have a great day. <laughs> Start over.